What happens when you put eggshells into the garden or into a compost pile? They seem to disappear and people put them in their gardens because they think they're adding nutrients for the plants. But do those eggshells really decompose? In this video I'm going to show you a four-year experiment to see what happens when I put eggshells into my garden. I researched this topic a number of years ago and I found that eggshells are really stable. When you put them into the compost pile, they're not composting. Now they do disappear and I suspect that's because we move the compost around and the pieces get broken up. The eggs are very brittle. But they never actually turn into nutrients for your plants. But when I posted that on social media, I had a hard time convincing people because what they see is eggshells one day and nothing in the garden the next. And they've been doing this for years and there's no accumulation of eggshells. So I sat down and tried to come up with an experiment to demonstrate what really happens in the garden. So I got a number of containers like this. There's a little plastic dish, has holes in the bottom and in the sides. And what I do is I put some soil in here, fill it about halfway, then put half an eggshell in, filled it with soil. So now the eggshell was completely surrounded by garden soil. The container itself protects it from being crushed, but there's holes in the side. So all of the microbes and fungi and plant roots and everything can enter these holes. So the eggshell is fully exposed to the soil they would be in the garden. And I buried five of these. And every year, I dig up one of these and have a look at the eggshell. Now, if you go to my blog, you can see the past years, but I'm now in year four, and I'm ready to dig up another one of these and have a look at them. I buried my containers underneath this evergreen between two rocks so I could find it again. So they've been covered with this wood chip mulch and some soil, and I've just removed enough here to find it. And I'll gently dig it up. It's in there pretty good. It's got to be quite a few roots going through by now. So there's my container. I'll carefully take out all the soil because I don't want to break the eggshell. Alright, I can just see the eggshell there. So now what I'm going to do is just soak this in water for a while and let the water soften up the soil. All right, it's been sitting for about 10 minutes and I've been slowly taking some of the soil off and it's, it's ready to come out. Now you can see it has broken apart a little bit, but if I turn it over, this whole piece here is intact. Eggshells have an inner skin and that's made out of protein and that decomposes very quickly. Even after the first year in the ground, that was completely gone. This outer shell is a very hard calcium compound, somewhat similar to your teeth, so it just doesn't decompose. Now I can't tell from this experiment that it's not slowly decomposing. It, it probably is. A few calcium atoms are coming off the shell and going into the soil, but most of the shell is still there. There's not a great degree of decomposition taking place. The calcium from the shell is certainly not helping your plants grow. The reason these disappear in the garden is because we move the soil around. And the more you move the soil, the more you break these into small pieces. And since our eyes aren't really very good, it doesn't take long before those pieces are the size of a sand grain. And in soil, we just don't see them. They seem to disappear. The decomposition process does depend on the pH of your soil. My soil has a pH of 7.3 so it's slightly alkaline. If I had a very acidic soil, these would decompose faster, but I don't know how fast. I've never seen anyone do this kind of an experiment in very acidic soil. But if you have normal garden soil with a pH of six or higher, eggshells are not doing anything for you in the garden. If you enjoyed this video, you'll also like my book called Garden Myths. In it, I look at common gardening advice and determine if it is really true. I cover such topics as, does beer really kill slugs? Can you use vinegar to get rid of weeds? And will citronella plants keep mosquitoes away? If you are interested in this book, the best place to get it is Amazon.